Hello friends, today we will discuss about the one of the important chapters in the dentistry is dental cements. Introduction of dental cements. Dental cements are the material used for various purposes in dental practice. Some are used as a luting agent for luting veneers, crown, bridges or orthodontic braces. Other use as a KOT lining material while more specialized products use as endodontic sealers in the root canal therapy. And some has been supplied to serve as filling material, temporary or permanent. However, today we will discuss KOT protection cements only. KOT protection cements. A layer of KOT lining material is placed in occlusal floor of the KOT and on the axial dentinal wall of the class 2 KOT prior to the placement of filling to protect the pulp from chemical, thermal, electrical galvanic shock or irritation. Thermal insulation Cement can, be, uh, can protect the pulp from sudden intolerable changes in temperature. A thermally insulting cement Insulating cement should be used under metallic restoration, in particularly amalgam restoration, because amalgam is a metal comp uh, filling material, so it can uh, act as a conducting material. So, if there is, uh, if you're taking hot and cold stimuli uh, uh, beverages, so if if there is no dental uh, cement be uh, between the beneath the amalgam filling, so direct conduct uh, so there is a direct conduction of the heat or cold uh, temperature to the pulp so it may damage the pulp amalgam has 40 times more than thermal conductivity than dentine in case where residual dentine floor is very minimum there is a risk of thermal shock to the pulp when cold or hot beverages is taken chemical insulation the uh, conventional wisdom argue that some filling materials and even some cements are potential irritant and may damage the pulp. However, it's now accepted by the most author then uh, that dentine and pulp are able to survive with content with quite powerful acids, for example, 37% phosphoric acids. But in one condition that access to the KOT is sealed properly at the end of the the treatment electrical insulation when two dissimilar metals are placed adjacent to the opposing or opposing each other like amalgam and gold it is uh, possible to cause galvanic shock because in our uh, in our uh, oral cavity the saliva is the best medium for the making electrolytic cells when we place two different metals filling material like gold filling material or amalgam so they there uh, will be a conducting cells which produce galvanic shock if we do not uh, insulate the uh, insulate uh, the filling material from the pulp so they may cause galvanic shock and can be filled by the pulp the use of electrically insulating lining material helped to prevent such activity unfortunately most insulating cements that are used are polar and not an ideal electrical insulating material electrical insulation continue in the some cases we put varnish what is a varnish varnish is the least polar lining material and sometimes supply on a metallic restoration in patients suffering from symptoms of galvanic shock to achieve temporary relief strength on flow the line the lining layers should withstand the force of filling material placement and not undergo deformation these depend on the degree of set achieved at the time of the filling material is placed the strength of this <coughs> the strength of the set material and its thickness the type of cavity the pressure exerted during the placement of the filling material the choice of the correct operative technique a strength and flow when placing amalgam restoration it is important to ensure that lining material is fully set or it will be distorted as seen in a first picture KOT 
class KUT1, GV Black class KUT1, and the second one class 2. Strength and flow. Distortion of the cement take place as picture is showing that the dental lining cement is not well suited when we place our filling material over it. To prevent the distortion of the cement, first we will see the thickness of the lining material and the set time of the distortion of the cement take place in class 2 KVT. As there we say that the uh, when we apply a filling material by condensation process like in amalgam we apply condensation forces the distortion of the uh, cement takes place. A strength or flow when condensing amalgam on the lining cement in class 2 KVT the amalgam should be condensed into the proximal box first to avoid fracture of the lining material and losing its functionality and also create voids in the restoration as seen in the following pictures this is a incorrect technique this is a correct technique used for the class 2 KVT for amalgam concentration there is a first we will pro uh, the condensation of the other filling material is less important as light pressure is required for such filling material with amalgam restoration fracture and distortion is less present classification cement are divided into three categories one is varnish two is liner and three is base varnish Varnish are composed of natural and synthetic resin dissolved in a volatile solvent. When apply onto the tooth surface, solvent evaporate and leave a thin coating of resin on, on the tooth. This help plug the end of the dentinal tubule that are open to the pulp. A studies and clinical experience have shown that using varnish reduce pulp irritations and post-operative tooth sensitivity varnish it's also reduced the penetration of corrosion products of amalgam into the dentinal tubule which cause tooth discoloration over time varnish are not indicated when using gic also not indicated when using bonding agents for composite restoration dentin bonding agents serve the same purpose as varnish liner Calcium hydroxide is the chief ingredient in many KOT liner. Why? Because it is antimicrobial, it is an alkaline medium, it stimulates formation of secondary dentine. The function of the KOT liner is neutralize acids that migrate towards the pulp, induce the formation of secondary dentine. Liner KOT liner has weak mechanical strength. Do not protect the pulp from thermal insults. Do not provide KVT sealing. That's why best cements used over KVT liner. Liner. Both MT and calcium hydroxide when exposed to the blood or oral fluid trans transform their hydroxyl group to calcium carbonate which lead to diminished antimicrobial activity. Calcium hydroxide is soluble in water and must not be left on the margin of KVT or its wall, which lead to poor sealing and eventually microleakage. Due to the microleakage, there is a chance, high chances of secondary, secondary carriage formation beneath the filling material. Thank you very much. We will cover the dental cement part 2 in the next video. Stay safe, stay home and stay safe. Thank you.